Today, we're relocating these seahorses to a new home. But before we get into that, I need to explain why. This old pier at 40 Baskets is their home, but it has been fenced off and scheduled for demolition. To ensure that the marine animals who call this place home are not wiped out with construction, the Abyss Project set out to capture and relocate these poor swimming marine animals to a safer New South Wales fisheries approved environment. So we found our first seahorse now. Fantastic, what have we got? So it's a Sydney seahorse, 75 millimetres. Copy. Yeah, Carl. Um, we've got a bit of a seahorse hotspot here. We've just found three seahorses in a very small area. They're two yellow, one white. All right, so the first step is um, female. 75 millimeters. And uh, they're all where double netting was. Um, located one metre off the sea floor is the first one. Alright, number two. It's a uh, kind of a beige sand colour. It is 55 millimetres long and 70 millimetres off the sea floor. So we've just finished IDing the seahorses and we've moved over to the relocation site where we're just about to jump in and find them a new home. In a heart-stopping moment, the seahorses are released above a meadow of Posidonia seagrass. Posidonia seagrass is endangered and is in severe decline across Sydney's waterways. It also happens to be the seahorse's natural habitat. The rarity of this seagrass is likely what caused the seahorses to call the old pier home in the first place. So, in a roundabout way, the seahorses are back where they belong. 